I love to be in the nature. I love to take a time and be inspired by nature. It's relaxing. It's, it's like meditation, really. My name is Mikko Lagerstedt. I'm a creative landscape photographer from Finland. I love to shoot minimalistic landscape photographs that capture emotion. My goal is to capture something very simple in a beautiful way. And usually it's more about what are not in the frame than what's in the frame. I've learned from the other creators and creatives uh, on this trip that it really is about just going with your gut feeling, just doing what you want to do, not just like doing what everybody else is doing. So it's been interesting to talk with uh, like-minded people with, who really just want to do their stuff and not really try to mold themselves. Humans are like sponges, we should learn from each other and take some kind of advice from each other so yeah i think it's like always inspiring motivating to to see see how others do it so i think it's more like mindset thing than just the creative part are you excited for today yeah so my goal is to capture the moon and uh, capture it when it's rising from the sea We'll see, it's going to be interesting. Yeah. I want to capture the moonrise directly, so I want to have it like really big. So I'm going to use the 100, 400, so I can get a close up of the moon. I want to capture the whole skinnery. I'm going to use 14 to 24 millimeters. And I want to use this lens because it's super sharp. One more lens I want to use. This is the 24-70, 2.8, and this is perfect for landscape photos. Usually it starts with the forecast, so you have to be aware of the changing weather. And when I know, okay, this, this might be a good time to take photos, then I just try to plan where should I go and what should work. And if I have a vision in my mind, I just know, okay, I have to go there at this time and capture that. When I have those, I just go out and sometimes I go by the plan. Sometimes I just go and see what's beautiful and try to capture anything really that inspires me. I would like to be more uh, near the ocean, be a, a slightly lower angle. Yeah, we are checking this new location out because the first one wasn't as diverse as I would like. And I wanted to capture also the beautiful rocks. So I shot those rocks as well with the wider angle lens. And so I got a couple of different shots from the location. I shot with the Nikon Z8 uh, moonrise at the coast. I wanted to capture when the moon is rising at the horizon. At, it was a full moon. I was planning to capture it just above the horizon line. I'm using the starlight view so I can really focus on the moon easily. It was a bit cloudy, so I couldn't just get that, but I, I got some nice shots of the moon. I really enjoyed how the place looked and it was subtle, it was quiet, it was like beautiful. So that was my most memorable moment. Mm. I think for people, if they don't follow their dreams, what are they doing? <laughs> I mean, it's the only way to live really. If you have something you want to do, just do it and 
uh, try to be more instinctive than trying to like think everything through throughout beforehand. So I think that's that's how you should approach life anyway. My purpose uh, as a photographer, I think it's just to capture those those moments and emotions and really so show that you don't have to travel far to capture beautiful photos. If you have a beginner's mind, you can see everything is beautiful, really, if you just focus on something, little things. A strong photograph is something that when the viewer sees it, it provokes some kind of emotion and really like stops you from scrolling or whatever or seeing uh, on a print to you know look at it a bit more the impact i want to have with my work is just people to realize that there's beauty around us so you don't have to travel far you don't have to be in a special place to capture beautiful photos i would love if if people who saw my work could be like inspired to go out and uh, be in the nature. If you achieve like some kind of emotion with the photos, that's what I, I think is power of image making. When I first started, I captured everything. <laughs> so I was taking portraits, macro photography, landscapes, of course, nighttime photos. You have to take hundreds of shots until you get that one shot you're really inspired to capture. It takes a lot of time and effort and being at the right location at the right time takes a lot of effort and yeah, I think that's the lesson I've learned. It's all about the balance, trying to be true to yourself, but then again, try not to be too comfortable. I think it's more of a sacrifice to live the normal life than be a photographer, really. Miko, I saw his work. I like the idea of the peacefulness of it. Like he's by himself all along, like um, no distraction, no noise, no one, you know. <laughs> Can you move a bit to the left? Can you move? Ah! <laughs> uh, this is a part where I was like a little bit jealous of. No, I learned some from Miko also. Patient. This guy is doing like, I want I wanna also have like this kind of uh, part of a passion to be like solo. Mm -hmm. well, solo dolo, like nobody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just because I'm always with a group of people and you know. People go to all these famous places while Miko is just like half an hour, an hour away from home and he's like creating magic. Yeah. yeah. Because he's really thinking. Mm -hmm. It's just not, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to Joshua Tree to shoot that mm -hmm. photo that everyone has. Yeah. or to Iceland or New Zealand. Yeah. He's actually doing it home yeah. and making magic. I love to do something different each time. Just tiny bit different or see if I can come up with something totally unique. For me, the most important thing in the photograph is also the story, but it's the visual first. And when there's a good visual, it usually draws the attention and maybe you can find something, something that provokes a uh, like beautiful story as well. My next move is to start capturing uh, BTS, more what I do on location, what I want to capture and just share more of the knowledge I have been gathering for the 15 years I've been shooting. Ready? 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 Ready?